Hello, and welcome to the Kathleen Spracklin Podcast. I am a woman on a mission to gather a cadre of writers, thinkers, and teachers who are transforming the world one character at a time. And it all starts with one thing, a deep understanding of human motivation, why people do what they do, and the forces that drive them. To gain that understanding, I am mining the intersection of psychology, theology, and philosophy to make you a better writer. This is episode 73, Putting Your Story Together. We've been playing around for three weeks with the concept of a new format that I want to use for my course uh, with dealing with the character traits. I've been working with Kim Caputo and Stephanie Ray of Momentum Learning Systems, who have been helping me go through the materials to present it in a momentum learning format. And I'm really excited with the plan. So we've had a chance to just explore some of the, I would say, the skeleton of the plan in these past few weeks. It's not fleshed out the way it will be because... It will involve an external YouTube component, like the podcast and like my other lesson, but it will also involve a community area on LilyPub where there can be discussion and sharing. So this will reach the point in the story where the person taking the course would then take the the three elements that we worked with these past three weeks and write a story with the elements. Magnificence as the driver of the plot, loyalty to give a mid-story catharsis, and generosity as the point of a scene. And by combining all of these, we should be able to get a, a, a rich story that has some realism because it comes out of a genuine human type of a struggle. And the exciting thing is the way this will all fit together. So let's take a look at how the Momentum Learning System plan would put these elements together. The plan calls for working with uh, the entire month as the structure. It's divided up into three week cycles and then a fourth week that's different. So the first week of the month would take a one of the character traits that would drive the overall plot. The second week would, would like we saw in our example, take another character trait that would serve as a subplot or a milestone on the way to the plot. The third week would take a character trait that it brings up some nuances about the character and weave it into a scene and then in the fourth week the story could be created and shared and this is another place where the mighty network comes in our lily pub group on which is going to be formed as a mighty network it will be opening in a couple of weeks and anyone who's in the course who wants to share their story can share it in a safe environment because it's a closed community. And also, if the story is publishable, then we can collect it together. And when we have enough of these stories that are publishable, we can actually publish the story and distribute it through small independent bookstores. So that's one of the dreams of the community. So let's go from the structure of the month to the structure of the week. The week would be structured along the across the entire week, but there would not the lessons would not be like the 30 40 minute lessons that were in the 35 lesson course. These would be much shorter. So for example, on a Monday, we just explore the character traits, connecting questions, where does it show up in life like we did with each of the traits in this past week. And then on the Tuesday, there would be more formal presentation of reference information. Where would you go to find out more about the traits? Where could you find it in the lessons if you wanted to go back to that? Um, 
just presenting it more formally. That those two would be external on YouTube, then diving inward into the Mighty Network for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, from the for that point on in the week, they would anyone taking the class could come into the network, talk about the elements and how they were using them, get a discussion going, get questions answered, post snippets, and then on Saturday if they could post a whole chunk of the story if they wanted to, or mostly talk to one another. And hopefully on Saturday, we might have also have a, a Zoom call round table where we can all get together and actually talk again in the security and safety of the Lily Pub Network. And then Sunday, just relax, share it with a family member, friends, if you want to, but it's a day to rest and recuperate. And when you put the weeks and the months together, what you're going to find out, of course, is that the structure always begins on a Monday. So the week cycle would begin on the first Monday of the month and would cover through three lessons with the last week being for writing. And then you get a whole rest period until the Monday of the following month. So the whole thing is on a cycle of explore, learn, Try it out, tidy it up, share it if you want to, relax. Explore, learn, give it a try, try it out, play with it, publish a piece if you want, share, relax. Third week, come up, do the same, play with the third element, the same pattern. And then finally the fourth week, just write Write, 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 and put a story out there if you want to put it out there to share. Or maybe just let it rattle in your head because there's nothing required to be posted. It's just a, a way that we have something that we can share together where we explore the writing. And um, Victoria Crowder, who also teaches writing, is going to pop in on this from time to time and talk to us about plot formation and subplots and give us a little more of the structure of the writing this, this part, of course, is all about the character traits, which is an important element of writing. Uh, she'll talk about some of the other um, more, more, more standard ways of structuring writing. So she'll pop in for that as well. So I hope you will uh, come with, to the course and play with it when the time is up. And we'll explore something different tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.